owner of Amazing Class LLC. Um, that includes Yorkies of Houston, Presidential Conde Corsos, Presidential Frenchies, Presidential Bullies, Presidential Poodles, and I'm sure more to come. I'm here today to do a public service announcement to discuss our colorful exotic Yorkies. A lot of people are used to traditional Yorkies. They've been out since the 1800s. However, the colorful Yorkies, they're new to the scene. Uh, we've had them here in the U.S. probably now for about six years. They've been in Europe a lot longer, and people want to know, like, where did they come from? Where, are they mixed with another breed, um, or what, you know, how did these just all of a sudden start popping up? So we were one, among the first in the Houston area to get um, the exotic coastal Yorkies, and of course I did my research before actually purchasing any of these Yorkies uh, for breeding purposes. And what I've learned is uh, through DNA testing, because DNA testing for, for dogs have not been um, common over the years. They were um, only allowed by veterinarians, very costly, and um, even veterinary offices have only been doing it for about 10 years. And now we can all DNA test from, our, um, from the comfort of our own home. And so with these DNA tests, you do get to see um, what breeds are in um, the exotic coat for Yorkies. And so a lot of them will test 100% Yorkie purebred. Um, some will test 50% um, Yorkie or a percentage, you know, 75% Yorkie. And then the other percent might be what is called a Bureau Yorkie. Now what a Bureau Yorkie is, is a Yorkie with a recessive gene color. So all that means is that it's what it says, a colorful Yorkie. So it's a Yorkie that might be a party Yorkie, or might be solid black, solid white, chocolate, um, any of those colorful colors. So let's go over some of the colors. So you have um, chocolate, you have KB Midnight Black, you have uh, the sable color, which is a version of chocolate, you have the merle, you have platinum white, um, and then you have party Yorkie. Those are the main colors that we've seen. And of course, Merle's come in a variation of colors as well with the Merle's. Um, you might have blueberry Merle, chocolate Merle's, tweed Merle's, all types of different variations of, of the Merle pattern gene and color. So, um, but just want people to rest assured um, that these, these dogs are not just a dog that we went picked out and, and bred with a different dog to just get a color. Um, as a lot of people say, especially on Facebook, there are a lot of um, researchers or you know people that are that think that they know um, and that have very strong opinions on colored Yorkies. But I suggest everyone do their research, and um, like I said, most of the DNA tests will come back either 100% Yorkie or Yorkie and Bure Yorkie. But a Bure is also a Yorkshire Terrier with an excessive a recessive gene. And if you think about just the human race, we have people with black hair, brown hair, brunettes, you have blondes, you have people with all colors, hair, color types of hair, and that's all it is. There's still Yorkies with different colored hair. Will the hair color texture be different? Yes, but it can be different in a traditional Yorkie as well. You have traditional Yorkies with long silky coats, you have traditional Yorkies with thicker, bushier, teddy bear-like coats, you have some with wiry coats. And so it's the same with the colored Yorkies. It's just a recessive gene. And through DNA testing, you're starting to see more because we can DNA test parents, know what colors they carry, and then we know which colors to, which parents to match up to produce the colors that we want or need or desire or that customers are asking for. So hopefully this explains where the colorful Yorkies came from, where the exotic Yorkies come, came from, and um, put your mind at ease. I recommend you do your own research as well, but also do not take the opinion of people, especially people who are just conservative, stuck in, in back in time, and don't want to change. The world is constantly revolving, and um, your choice and who you, who you choose to purchase as far as the dog goes is totally up to you. Don't let anyone make that choice for you. You have the people that are adopt on shop. I totally recommend people to go and purchase dogs from animal shelters if they so choose. Hopefully this helps. And if you have any questions, feel free to email us at info at Have a great day.